guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, and today I have a Target haul for you. Mostly spring stuff, but things I wanted to share. Sorry if the light's weird. It's, sun's going in and out, but hopefully you'll see all the things. All right, so let's get started. It's, ooh, not a huge haul, but it's so cute. Oh, come here. I am dog sitting for Luna. Luna belongs to my niece, Sarah. Some of you have asked who Sarah was. She's my niece. And I got a girl for a couple days, so we are hanging out. All right, go lay down. Yeah. Okay, I picked up some greenery. Um, and it's pretty small, but I liked it a lot. It's a dollar. And then look at this one. It's just perfect, and you'll see what I'm going to use it for here in a second. So I grabbed two of, I don't know what they're calling this. Um, it doesn't, oh wait. It just says greenery pick, but look at this. These I love. So I grabbed two of that one. One of this one, I don't love this one, but it'll, it'll work for some fill-in. And then I got two of the this size of the fern. It's really rubbery, which is nice. And I'll show you. I've got to obviously cut it down. But I got them to go in some of these little jars. And I picked up three jars in two sizes. So I got this one in the light green. And I love the hobnail on it. And these were $1 as well. And then I got this size. And this is like a bluish gray greenish grayish teal maybe I don't know and then this one is clear so together the three of them will sit as a little grouping with the greenery in it that I need to cut down and make it fit so I grabbed those items I picked up one of these it is glass it is I'm going to use it for my dish soap it's a soap dispenser it could be hand or I'm using it for dish and I liked the um, bronzy copper metal top. I liked that it. it's glass. And it will also hold a fair amount of dish soap. I do a lot of hand washing of my Tupperware and stuff. And I do pack my lunch every day. So I thought that would be perfect on my kitchen sink. They had it in this color in green and maybe a gold. Can't remember. Like a gold that color. But that's okay. Uh, food wise, today, and it's Sunday that I'm filming this. So this week, the coffee that um, Archer Farms is on sale for $4.99. This is good coffee. I really enjoy it. I grabbed a bag of the buttery caramel. And then I grabbed a bag of vanilla bean creme brulee. One will stay home for next week and one will go to work. Um, so I'll figure out which one I feel like having today and I'll open that up and that'll be the home one. And then I'll take the work one to work. Hi. Um, I'm doing a, a video and you may have already been up. It may not. I can't remember what order everything is going in, but it's a jello dollar tree keto, not necessarily keto, but I did get sugar free for me. Like a jiggler recipe that I got off of Catherine Michelle's video. Um, she's a keto lifestyle blogger here on YouTube. And I'm going to make it... Um, for a video. And I'm using some molds that I got at the Dollar Tree. So I needed to pick up some gelatin. I found... And this is going to be a short haul, guys. Sorry. Some of these metal... Like letters. No, they have numbers. And then they have labels and some of the labels have names on them and words and some are plain i went with the plain so i got a gray these were a dollar look at that one that is fun and you can just they're just tags to put on things so i grabbed another one of that and another gray so i think these are the two but luna no no i think these are uh you can Put strings on them. I'm going to put these on craft baskets and put like, you know, knitting, cross stitch, whatever. You know, all the organizing because it's spring and that's what we all do in spring, right? So I grabbed four. You can use marker on here. You could probably do dry erase or I will probably cut it out with my Cricut to label. So I grabbed those. And then they had numbers. So I got enough numbers to do my the number of my house. And um, yeah, these are fun. 
and they have the little loop so I can maybe make a wreath or something. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them, but I decided that I needed the numbers to my house. So I had had the seven for quite some time. Cats. And then I grabbed this morning the rest of my address. So yeah, just if you see them, grab them and then hopefully at another store they will have other letters for you. For my house, I got a pot that says Love Grows Here. And I'll open it up so we can look at it. Um, this is the tray, the drip tray, which is great. And the pot has a hole in the bottom, which I love. So this is a fair, at least large pot. Um, they had several different styles. And then it sits in its drip tray and it matches. And then when you water it, if it over, if the water fills down here, it'll suck back up into the plant. And I love these to protect surfaces. So I'm going to be planting, uh, one of my plants is getting repotted into this in the spring when I repot. But for now, um, you know, it's the time to buy this stuff. Sorry, I'm picking up trash as we go. I may get Sarah one of those pots, but I'm not sure if that's the way she's going her direction so and I loved it when it came it came like that because oh, let's not go breaking stuff there you could also just set this on your counter and I mean I wouldn't put liquid in it because there's a hole in the bottom but if you block that hole you could totally just use this as a storage container on your kitchen cabinet or fill it full of rocks in your gardening center it doesn't have to be a planter um but that's what i'm using it for so i did grab that for me and then i picked up one of these um it's the canvas bag in the gray stripe and it has this loop on my sewing table i have a command hook and i'm going to hang this from the command hook and this is going to be my thread catcher or little pieces of scraps and trash and then I can just drop you know throw it away this was three dollars which I thought was a great price again you don't have to use it for what I am but I like that it had the hanging capacity you gotta cut that thread but yeah this is gonna be my scrap catcher when I'm sewing or crafting you know little pieces of trash or whatever not wet stuff but like threads or strings and stuff like that can go in here and this will hang right on my table. So I thought that was perfect for some craft room organization. Um, and they had all different prints. Now the last thing I got and I had to pick up two, so I'm going to open the one that's for me. It's a three pack of notebooks, which we all know how much I love notebooks. Um, besides the love grows here. This one is also a pattern that they're having out for spring at target. And these are, Oh, I like that. There's no, um, these are not lined. This one, this book is the largest. It's not lined, probably 60 or 50 pages in that one. This is also another pattern. I love the lines on it and it's not, not lined pages either, which is nice. And so if you see, they're like, I would consider these a nesting size because they get smaller. And then the very smallest one says, to plant a garden is to believe in the future. And I absolutely love that. And this is just on like craft color and there's no lines on that. So it's a three pack. This would be a great teacher gift too. Happens to be my girl's a teacher, but three notebooks, three different sizes, and they were $3. So I grabbed one for Sarah's Easter basket because I liked the floral and it matched. And she's a teacher. So she needs these. I mean, I'm going to say she needs them because I want her to have them. So I grabbed those for her Easter basket. Her Easter basket is getting kind of full. I might need to upgrade here. And then I just picked up some candy for her. Um, she doesn't need a ton of candy, but I did get her this lollipop with the peeps, the three different, four different colors. Girl, can you count? Just a rainbow pop and it's peeps and it was $2 at the Target. What you eating, girl? She's eating dead plant leaves. I get her one of these every year. It's just the Reese PC carrot. She loves them. So I had to get that. And then a little bag of Cadbury mini eggs. I got her bunches of candy, but she doesn't need a ton. I'm sure her mom will get her an Easter basket as well. So just some more candy for her basket. Like I said, I'm getting, I'm getting a lot of candy going on over here, guys. 
for the girl that doesn't need all the candy or doesn't want all the candy, I, but she'll share it. I'm not worried about that. So that is everything that I got at Target. And if you saw my Dollar Tree haul, what I'm doing for the Easter basket for Sarah is it's like a garden theme. And I'm grabbing some things at the Dollar Tree, some things at Target, because I think some of the things in the Target dollar spot are ridiculously priced. I'm not paying $5 for a pair of garden gloves that she'll use and get muckied up and we'll have to get tossed. So no, mm -mm. So I get stuff like that at the Dollar Tree, but then things like this. You know, I would pay a dollar for each of those at the Dollar Tree. So I grabbed three of those at Target. So it just depends what I feel like is in my price point. So that is everything. I hope you enjoyed the little bit of Target that I got in my channel this week. Guys, we are 70 people at this time on Sunday. 70 subscribers away from hitting 10,000. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to hit 10,000. All right, everybody. You have a good one. And I will talk to you later. Bye. 10,000, 10,000, subscribe. The dog is looking at me like I'm crazy. Have a good one. Bye.